What's up everyone, it's HP. Today I'm gonna make a review on the Gonzo Survival Knife. Let's unbox this and we'll see how it looks. Okay, here it is. All right, this is the Survival Knife. If you want to uh, purchase one, link is below. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing we're gonna look at is the sheath. The sheath actually comes with a seat belt cutter. Here's a seat belt cutter, and it actually has something up here where you can uh, put like a paracord or uh, another uh, Velcro belt type loop. And on top of here, it has uh, a fire starter, which is very stiff. It's very hard to pull out. Uh, it's brand new, so um, if you keep taking that out and putting it back in it might uh, adjust to it but this is the fire starter which it comes with pretty cool and the back of it here if you take this velcro off you can actually just take the whole thing off it slides right off um, is a knife sharpener so it's like a little uh, stone pretty cool this will I guess protect it from uh, other stuff you put your uh, belt through here and that's about it let's get to the knife so this knife has a velcro attached to it to hold it in place so it won't slide out. well it's not gonna slide out it has a finger groove here that you can push out with one hand now these, I don't know if they glow in the dark. All right, well, let's take out the knife and look at it. Here's the blade itself. It's made by Gonzo, which is the same knife as this one here, it's a pocket knife, same company. Okay, so it is a fixed blade, full tang, and the grip itself, it feels really good I mean you can use this with one hand put your thumb up here and you can uh, carve some stuff and I'm gonna put it to the test in just a moment I just want to get to the details and all that stuff the way it looks now if you look on top of here it actually has a little sign that says fire or a fire symbol here which this is what you strike the flint at for fire starter we're gonna try this out in the test. Start a fire with it uh, real quick. Small fire, it's not a big fire. Now this knife is very similar to the Bear Grylls survival knife made by Gerber. I actually have it here. It has a fire starter here. Just like the other one, I actually used this one before. <laughs> you can see it looks crappy. Um, and if you unbuckle this, it has the same type of stone in the back to sharpen your knife. I had the uh, Bear Grill knife since it came out. Actually, this is serrated and it's kind of dirty. This is my, I use this in my, I put this in my fishing bag, but it is serrated. Um, still kind of sharp and it has in the back here it has for the fire starter and it has if you can see it it has the fire logo on there just like the gonzo knife all right guys well the first thing I'm gonna test out is the fire starter I haven't done this in a very long time so bear with me it might take me a while um, I did put a little uh, napkin in here and got a little bit of tender. Whoa. There you go. Very cool. There's the fire, guys. It works. It's so far a survival knife. Alright, so the next thing is cutting wood. 
Um, I'm putting this the stress test, so I am going to test the crap out of this. Uh, this is kind of dead wood, so it will probably penetrate easy. I just got to be careful. There's no scorpions here, but it does cut pretty good. And last time I did this, I had a scorpion on me. But it does break wood pretty good. Uh, uh, like I said, this is dead wood. It's not like uh, a hard wood. I, c I couldn't find any good wood out there. But anyway, so far, it has a couple of scratches here but not a big deal it is a survival knife so uh, it's it has a grip to it I mean it has really good grip make sure there's no scorpions out here here we go uh, that's just in case you fall off a cliff or um, gets dirty Chug it one more time. I just want to make sure and see if the if this knife will break apart or the blade itself. Here's the third drop. That sounded pretty hard, and we're gonna see if it did anything to it. So far, the tip is sharp, the back is good, no dents, no bents, uh, just a couple scratches here, if you can see it. You see the scratches, but that's typical in a knife, a knife will scratch. Um, it's still pretty sharp, we're going to go test out the sharpness of the blade. Alright guys, so we're going to test out the, it's kind of windy out, but we're going to test out if it's still sort of sharp. Here's a piece of paper from a small little notebook. Still pretty sharp. Um, that's all I got for today, and actually, um, this knife, not this actual knife, I actually order another one uh, just to give away, and it's going to be inside the giveaway package, so uh, if you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button so you get a chance to win uh, this knife plus other items that I'm going to give you guys. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you guys, and let me know in the comments below. Uh, what you think about this knife and give it a thumbs up if you think this is a survival knife and you will buy it I believe it was 20 25 dollars in Amazon link is below if you want to buy one or if you want to wait for the giveaway I am giving one of these out brand new not this one but brand new one fire starter works so that's an A plus I haven't tried the knife sharpener I'm pretty sure it works it feels very uh, um, rough uh, the knife itself now the only thing downside about this is that I did kind of rip it here if you see that that was my fault actually I freaking went like that but uh, if you're smooth with it it opens up nice I can just uh, re sew this back up if not I just you can still use it without it this is just an extra uh, piece where you can hold it nice and tight. I'll probably put a, a button one But the knife itself is awesome. It creates fire. You have the fire starter here It's actually just like the Bear Grylls knife uh, made from Gerber, but uh, a lot cheaper. It feels the same uh, This one's a fixed blade. The other one's a serrated blade and I'm gonna keep this one in my car 
uh, because it does have a seat belt cutter. You can cut the seat belt with it, which is a, a plus. Bear Grill knife does not have it. I, I believe Bear Grills is $50. This is actually um, 20, 25 bucks. Uh, so not bad. You put this in your camping gear, um, in your car, or you know, in your fishing bag, any type of bag, a hiking bag. Uh, this is a really awesome knife. It's still sharp. You just saw it and I tossed it three times and I kind of batoned it. I couldn't find a, a good piece of wood so uh, it was dead wood but still. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the vlog.